Good day everybody and welcome back for another video. Uh, today I just wanted to learn a bit more about a particular artist. Uh, Philip Hodas is his name. Uh, he's on Nifty Gateway, he's been quite busy on Nifty Gateway so I thought I'd just check out some of his work, check out his website, uh, learn a bit more about him and just record my doing so, so you could sort of come along for the journey. A magical journey. So let's have a look at him here on Nifty Gateway. As you can see, he's dropped eight collections, so he's been a busy boy. And there's a theme that runs through his work. It's sort of the decaying, decaying popular culture, the death of popular culture. Sort of in, in the future, it's been all forgotten. Maybe it's dystopian. So it's Pop Culture Dystopia by Philip Hodas. So yeah, everything sort of in these sort of wastelands, all, all forgotten and, and decaying. And he also does these sort of uh, the skulls of characters from popular culture, Popeye, SpongeBob, Bender from Futurama. So let's check this bit out, this piece. Philip Hodas. So originally went for three hundred and fifty dollars. So that's I think that's an absolute steal. Only one hundred and ninety editions minted, so not too many. Let's see if we can, uh, let's have a look at it on the marketplace, see what it's doing now. So last one sold just for 1500, so that's gone up nicely in price. Uh, the lowest ask at the moment is for 1850. So yeah, so it's quite a, it's just a decent piece if we go, hang on, go back. There's Bender there by some sort of swamp. He's getting covered in uh, moss or lichen, sort of decaying away, all forgotten. Nobody, nobody's there to look at him. Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really detailed piece. You can see he's taken his time on it. He's put a lot of work into it. I really like it. Um, if we go back, go back again. Let's have a look at some more. So Spongebob, let's have a look at Spongebob. Look at the detail, the detail is just amazing. All the sort of, the porous quality to the bone. Uh, you've got the internal eye sockets, just, he's got bits of moss growing on him again. He's got his little hat on. Just loads of detail. Uh, let's check him out on the mar marketplace. Only 82 editions purchased initially. So nothing really. Last one sold went for 500, so I think that's a bit of a steal really. 500 is nothing. Um, lowest ask at the moment on the marketplace is 635. So yeah, you can still pick yourself up a Philip Hodas for a, quite a decent amount of money there. Quite cheap. Um, There's Popeye. Let's go and have a look at his website. He's got a website. Actually, no, let's go back. I just want to check him out on Instagram, see how many followers he's got. See, there we go. 606,000 followers. So, very popular. Is that Hey Arnold? Maggie? Cool. Let's check out his website. Here's some of the commercial work he's done. That's really cool. I really like that. Adidas. Is that Coca-Cola? Uh, let's check out the About section, see if we can learn a bit more about him. Yep, Philip Hodas is a 28-year-old, so he's only 28. Uh, 3D artist based in Prague, Czech Republic. In 2015, Philip started a daily render project that lasted for almost 400 days and helped him gain initial traction online. Since then, he accomplished to grow to one of the most followed 3D artists in the world. Throughout his career, Philip accumulated over 650,000 fans across his socials, which opened the door to collaborations with numerous international brands such as Adidas, Coca-Cola, Samsung, 
or artists like Jean-Michael Jarre. Over the years, several of Philip's renderings went viral and made front pages of numerous sites and social networks from Board Panda, 9gag to Reddit. His work was also featured in several exhibitions across Europe and one of his images even made it to London's Tate Modern. Wow, that's pretty cool. Philip is most known for his artwork series Pop Culture Dystopia that envisions decaying pop culture icons such as Mickey Mouse, Pac-Man or Hello Kitty in desolate and abandoned post-apocalyptic landscapes. In 2020, he followed with a similarly pop culture series called Casting Fossils, portraying realistic skulls of the casting characters from his childhood. Mm. There's a list of some of the people he's worked with. Adobe, Adidas, BBC, Coca-Cola, Google, IBM, loads of people, Samsung, loads of people. He's a very popular boy. I know it's cool. I, I really like his work. Um, I don't know if I'm sort of holding fire at the moment on buying any new new work, pieces of work, any NFTs, So, but I'll keep my eye on that Spongebob piece, see what that does. Yeah, so that's about it really. I just wanted to have a quick look at Philip, his work, and just learn a bit more about him, and I thought I'd just record it. So thanks anyone who, who's watched the video, and I might make some more in the future, who knows, but that's about it really. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.